drunk every night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could crank up the night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light Helps, helps if you can hear me. I, I think anyway. What do you think? I, I was like trying to get this going and uh, and Call of the Wild had other plans evidently because I was like, what in the freaking world is going on? But we've got it working now, by golly. Now I just need to get everything else that I was going to have going. Here we go. There we go. Now we're banging on all cylinders, boyo. Hopefully, anyway. Top notch, everyone. Well, uh, howdy. How's it going? Glad to see everyone here. This is fantastic. We'll have to go through the names here in a bit. We're back to our half and halves of uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild and Fishing Planet on Monday nights. Uh, so hopefully some people are excited about that. But we've got, uh, who do we have here today? We got Alpha19 Gaming. Hello. Uh, just how? Halos, uh, Leighton Gotti, uh, Rocco Palmer, Sebastian Acosta, Cooler Cactus is here, Emily Reyes, hello, Streamer4145, Evan Keenan, uh, Blitz MC, Bubs, Damien, uh, Dakota Solomon, Ethan, uh, Anna, Anna, uh, Dragia, uh, Leighton, Taven's Outdoors, Danae Hess, Skater Kid, Dave Prime. Dave Prime. <clears throat> right on. Well, Enreal Phantom Tysizic. Cameron Reddick. Damien. Hi. All right. Top notch, everyone. Well, today we're going to be uh, heading into uh, somewhere, somewhere that we can find a possible uh, red deer, like that picture shows right there. Um, I think we'll start out with uh, with with Quattro Quilinus. 
do a little run through here. Uh, we have an hour to kind of run through things, so you know if we uh, if we run through some of my favorite spots for red deer on this map, then by by George we'll just we'll just go on over to another map at that point. I want to make sure I have mission system off. Important part. I am kind of curious. I did something a while back and it like it kind of reset a lot of my stuff and uh, I wasn't very happy about that, but it looks like we're okay. Looks like we're, we're doing okay. We still have some tents set up and stuff. So that is a okay. We're gonna skip forward a few days here just to mix some stuff up. Just to kind of get some stuff mixed up here. You know how it is. <clears throat> Alrighty, top notch. Let's do one more. One more, bring it to eight. Is it eight or is it six? I can't remember when the red deer start drinking. Well, we'll go with this though. First time catching a stream, Unreal Phantom says. Well, right on, glad you're here. Glad you were able to make it. Got some backpacks. Got some backpacks there. So, uh, so top notch. One of my favorite places to check out, well, I guess we can start out over here. Uh, I have a few different favorite places to check out on Quattrocolinus. And one of them is just like right down the bank here. I don't know if we'll see any action though. I don't know how long it starts to start seeing start seeing some action. There's a roe deer, European hare. We've gotta have get some ibex, mouflon. I'm checking, I'm checking. There we go. It's five to nine nine thirty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well then the red deer should definitely be here if they're gonna be here. By George. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're just going to be running through doing a few things. Uh, one of the diamond red deer I shot was over here one time, so yeah, running around, boys. <sighs> I got it. It's very fun. Cooler Cactus. It sounds fun. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. I don't think I ever truly beat the first one. I kind of ran out of time, so I don't know if I'll go ahead and buy the second one at the moment, but maybe, who knows? It's still possible. Maybe uh, around Christmas when stuff starts going on, like holiday sales and stuff, I might pick it up. We'll just have to see. Damien, hello. I've been on stream a very long time. It's good to be back. Well, Dave Prime, glad you're here. Yeah, for sure. Hunting for the Red Deer Great one right now. The, the Red Deer, who's a what? The, I don't think I've heard about this. The Red Deer gr Great one, you say? What? What? What is a great one? What? Danae has, how am I doing? I'm doing quite well, thanks for asking. So when you're out on long hunting trips, do you bring the large Gatorade bottles? <laughs> asking for red. Um, the Gatorade bottles are, are modest in size. Um, the, the tops of which, the tops of those Gatorade bottles, uh, you know, impressive diameter, I should say. Um, and, and for good reason, fake outdoorsman. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm not sure how far we need to run. Seeing the roe deer. Seeing the roe deer, though. From that need zone. Uh, would they be any further, do you think? Do you think they'd be over here? That's the question. Love your dog. Well, thanks, Layden. Appreciate it. How you doing, Bo? Leave. I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Um, it was my anniversary weekend this past weekend. So, uh, kind of relaxed, did some fun things with the old wife, and, uh, yeah, we had a great time. I tell you what, I ran off in this direction, and I don't even know what guns I have. I have mallard decoys, that's always good for red deer. That really always throws them off. They're over here looking for hunters, and then the last thing they expect to see is a couple of duck decoys. That's how you get them. They get distracted. They get distracted by the duck decoys. You all didn't know that, but that's why you watch my streams, to get this kind of knowledge, you know? You can get regular hunting knowledge from any old person playing this game. But the duck decoy red deer, you know, that's from me. That No one else can take credit for that. Are you gonna play Fishing Planet? Well, that's the plan anyway. That's the point of a half and half stream, eh? Alright, we made it over here now. 
What do we got? We got tracks for a roe deer. We do indeed. Why don't we actually get like proper hunting equipment for what we're doing here? <sighs> oh, geez, I messed that up. Messed it up big time. Uh, I don't know if we need a 20 gauge with us. What do we have with us? Tripods or something? Maybe tents. Good have tents. Might be okay to bring tents with us. Set up kind of a kind of a path to go for this red deer great one. But uh, let's go ahead, get the old, uh, yes, the Vasquez Cyclone. My favorite roe deer annihilator. Do we need anything else? I don't think we do. I think that ought to do it. Guess we need ammo for the 45. 45 hollows. Give me them 45 hollows, bro. Should be good then. Should be good to go then, actually. Yes. I, I rarely use calls, but by, you know, sure. Why, why not, you know? Let's bring a road to your caller. Because who's gonna stop us? That's right, no one. All okay, right, we're good to go now. We are good to go. You haven't played hunting games like this, so you don't know the good spots? Oh, 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 oh. well, you are in the right place. I'm gonna show you all my favorite spots anyway. Who's to say they're so good? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Burian Mouflon. I have no idea how many diamonds of these guys we have in the lodge. Four or five, I would assume. They're definitely a fun sheep. There's so many of them, you have a good chance of getting a diamond when you come to Quattro. So much easier here than Hirschfelden? I agree. Hirschfelden is a difficult map to hunt on. Anytime someone gets a, gets a diamond on Hirschfelden, unless it's like standing out in the middle of a field or something like that, ripe for the pickings, I always, uh, always give people the credit they're deserved for pulling off something like that. There's a four there. A couple of different herds of mouflon. Not seeing any red deer though. I have a tripod set up over there. Ooh, red deer. A couple of small ones. But that'll work. That's what we're after, don't you know? I'm gonna move these into numbers that I actually like using. Oh God. How did we get you to pop up? Well, I would like you to go away, please. Thank you. All you have to do is ask nicely sometimes. That's all it takes. We got three over here now. Sneak in. Everyone whisper now. Everyone use your whispering voices in the chat. Make sure you're whispering. Hunting and got a whitetail buck. Bob's right on. That's awesome. Whitetail buck, right on. Haven't seen Hunter in a while. I agree. I haven't either. Got a good wind. We got a real good wind for this. I'm trying to get all three of them in in, uh, in view right here. Don't have any um. Have any color? <laughs> hunting pressure as well, I was trying to think of. I don't have any hunting pressure. This is when a uh, a random wolf shows up out of nowhere and just starts attacking us. Flying dinos down a lagoon with a, a mosasaur. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that, yeah. Okay, so we got one, two, three. This dude's hiding in a bush. Then we have these guys. They're all kind of Caddy Wampus right now. Oh, you didn't go when I... I clicked my mouse and it didn't shoot and then by the time I like stopped clicking my rifle went down and I shot him in the leg. Ah, threw me off. I was on a rhythm though. You saw the rhythm. A boom. A Boom. 
and then I clicked and it didn't shoot. <laughs> it ruined it. It ruined it. We're gonna have to figure out where that other guy went. But here's the first two, rather small. But that will work. <clears throat> Australian fan. How's the wife doing? The wife is doing quite well. Thanks for asking, Leaf. Ah. A lot of female road deer around. We might have to, uh, next time they put out a great one road deer, we'll, we'll uh, have to do some some oh. nope road deer I was gonna say that might be him but nope it's not when are we gonna start the fishing planet we got some new people showing up I guess hi road deer love this thing I love it it's like a good good uh Now be alive. There's no way you're alive still, unless we shot you in the shoulder blade twice. We must have. There's no way it'd still be alive. Come to Australia, the animals are really cool and the fishing is good. I, I, I have watched many a video fishing in Australia, and yes, I would love to go fishing in Australia. It does seem like a blast. And not from the past. A blast of fun. Blasting in your face. Do you have every gun in the game? Uh, I think so. I don't... I mean, there's not... If I don't have it, it's just because I didn't want it, I guess. <laughs> we have we have plenty of money, so we, we could we could buy anything we want, I guess. And I have all the DLCs and whatnot, so... Yeah, should have everything. Oh, there's wolf tracks. Oh... I'm walking slowly because I figure if that red deer's... He's wounded and he's probably moping around right now, so trying to get the slip on him and end him so we don't have to follow him anymore. Would be ideal. Bro deer. Oh dear, the road dear. Oh. I was gonna lava. Lava air. Air uh, pellet. <laughs> Didn't think of what we wanted to call it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. 976 Fallow on Hirschfeld, and everyone says it's bad, but I've always had a good time there. Hey. It's not bad. It's a beautiful map, and uh, and I mean it is. It's realistic, you know. Um, as far as the fields go and stuff like that, it reminds me of Kansas in that way. So that's interesting. Got a warning call for a red deer up here. may have a warning call for a red deer, but I don't see a red deer. There's the roe deer. What's surprising is this big splash of red here. Oh, eating. Interesting. I've never seen that before. It's very thrown off. I was like, what? Okay, there's our warning call for the red deer again. Off in this direction. Had to take a shower, Br Braden says. Right on. Sarah Nelson. Hello, hello. Shh, everyone. Shh, shh, shh. Three star red deer or two? I would love to get a level three red deer. We were just talking about that in the creator lounge today. How uh, how it's been forever since we've seen a uh, level three roe deer. They're super, they're super rare, evidently. You know, it's... 
It used to be Whitetail, but then the great one Whitetail came out and everyone started uh, grinding for Whitetail. And then, um, there's a level two, Rodeer. Keep sneaking up on this red deer, but hunting other animals at the same time, evidently. We're just so talented. Go for the head that's one shot. Yeah, no. Much more ethical to go. Oh, there he is. Much more ethical to go for a, a decent body shot or just shoot him in the leg like I did with this guy. See, we shot him in the head there, Emily. It didn't work, did it? <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Do I play GTA 5? I don't know. I've never played any of the Grand Theft Auto games. I, I say that, but I did, yeah. See how we were aiming up here and I clicked and then my mouse went lower and I shot him right in the leg. But we got a good one on that second shot, so. Put him out of his misery. Let's go uh, cross our fingers and hope that one of these shots did something okay. Oh, uh, I love wolves. I love fighting wolves with this pellet rifle. It's not an ethical caliber for uh, wolves, but it's so much fun. Yeah, we did not get a good shot on that road here. That is the one problem of using hollow points, uh, the 45s on this pellet rifle. If you do not hit the vitals, you are out of luck, compadre. It does not have very good penetration whatsoever. When's the next time you're going to make a fly fishing video? Ooh, might be a while, Sarah. Um, might be a while. Just because uh, we don't really have the greatest streams. Um, like, we don't have any trout streams where I live. And... What if one of these was a level 9... That'd be awesome. Like how we're getting so distracted. We were first going after red deer, then now we're chasing roe deer. Now we're seeing wolves. This is a classic hunter call of the wild for you. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're just gonna move on to another place. Move on to another location. Now my first time was a black tail, but I can't remember the score. Hey, that's fine, Alpha. Hi, CJ. How's it going? You're unwell. No. Tell me about your red snapper fishing trip. My red snapper fishing trip? Is this an inside? Is this an inside joke? Or 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 did I did I tell you to ask me about it next time? Well, I'll tell I'll tell you about. Oh, look at that dude. He's only a level seven. Oh, another level seven. They're massive. These are the largest level sevens I've ever seen in my entire life. And then there's a piebald roe deer over here too. What in the freaking world, dude? Two massive level sevens. I'm gonna jump over this fence. No one can stop me. God, level seven red deer. They always get me so excited. And then they guess they get me so not excited because they're not level nine. <clears throat> really excited for the new map. I, I I'm excited as well. One shot, one buck down. It's been a while, but you're back right on, dude. How long did it take you to get sick? I uh, get sick high level in fishing planet. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we've been playing it for what a year now, two years almost. I can't remember. I feel like we've been playing it for almost two years, right? Started in January of 2020? Right? So, I mean, I haven't really been playing like super, super hard or anything. I play during the live streams and other than that, usually I'm editing videos or doing stuff. I can't remember the last time I like sat down and made, played a game and made a video other than uh, like Halloween event stuff and whatnot. Let's get in nice and personal for these two red deer here. 
two level seven red deer. We need to set up a tripod over here is what we need to do. This is a great little, uh, little place for, for a, a great one to spawn, you know? How about getting into that little, little, uh, shelter there and you walk out from where you spawned in and there's just a big old great one red deer just standing there. That wouldn't be too bad. Make sure that our guns are loaded here. Yo, there's great one red deer. Hirschfelden used to be your favorite map until Yukon came out. Understandable. Pike Vision 2 caught two unicorns so far. Dude, right on, dude. That's awesome. All right, we're getting in close. I'm kind of curious. I'll be interested to see like how different these two are, their racks, you know? They're both level seven. They're both fairly similar with the style of their rack. So I'll be interested to see like numbers wise how different they are. We got this tree in front of this dude. Otherwise, this guy's fine. I think we'll just scoot over a little bit more. That's a roe deer. Burger Hunter's new right on. Patty Kratzer, can you bow hunt? Uh, I can bow hunt. Are you talking about real life or in the game? <laughs> Where are you gonna fish? We're gonna fish at St. Croix for Pike. Memphis Mills, hi. How are you guys doing today? Carly Priv in the house. How's it going, Carly? Saw your comment on Fish Brain. Which comment? <laughs> I comment on it, on all sorts of stuff, bro. I don't know which one. Just spotted a level nine red deer. Dude, right on. I wish I could say that. Instead, I've got these two sevens. They add up to 14, right? I basically have a level 14 red deer in front of me, correct? Is that how this game works? I said drop dead. And when I say drop dead, I mean drop dead. We have another herd of red deer over here. Don't see a stag though. Oh, eight mythical over there. We're just finding all sorts of stuff right now. Watch me shoot this guy and then like the freaking uh, great one runs out of the trees or something like that. Oh, that, that freaking, what are they called, Heinz? Female red deer is called Heinz? Oh, look at that. My border's in front of the, uh... Thank you so much! Appreciate it! Sorry, I was trying to fix this. Here we go. That'll work. Now, now I won't show up. Ah, uh, bro. You're the red snap? I'll tell you about it, CJ. Give me a second, I'm trying to think right now. This freaking hind just laid down right in front of that mythical we were about to shoot. NASA Gamer made it right on. What's your record for streamer views? Um, I think we hit 200 one time. I think that's probably probably the most. 204 or something like that. <laughs> um, the size of the racks on the sevens there. Should we... Okay. I already got these ones down. Now I'm walking, without even picking those up, I'm walking over to hunt another one. That's what being a, a good hunter is all about, right? Shooting an animal, and before you even go get it, you're, you're ready to shoot another animal. Okay. Ugh. Boy, he's big. Yeah, we must have lodged one in a shoulder blade or something. Eh, he's at 50 to 75 now. I guess we can get up to three, can't we? See, if we had a tripod over here, we could do all sorts of damage between these two spots. We'll have to drop a tripod there. That would be a great location. 
Eric, what's going on, man? Have fish like Bentley Spring? Yeah, there are some in Missouri. It's just kind of out of my way. Out of my way, and it's difficult. And, like, when I find a weekend that I have free, uh, it's, it's a, it's, it's a toss-up of what I'm gonna end up doing. Do I want to, uh, do I want to catch up on videos I need to edit? Do I want to go fishing? Do I want to go hunting? Um, so. So, yeah. You know how it is. <clears throat> can you bow hunt in the game? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Oh, hello. So, I, I have to follow you. Oh, my gosh. Derek, I mean... It's good to see that you have high standards in the people you watch and and, to, and you know for you To picture me as as you know at the top top of that Wow Really appreciate it I realize that I, have, I don't know if you can notice that I had a chroma key still turned on turned it off though now we're good Ali bow any diamonds yet Cole Starkey no we just saw a uh, level eight, level eight red deer, which won't be diamond, but still a nice sized deer. Though, uh, I'll be honest, I don't think we got a very good shot on him. And we still have some level sevens to pick up in another area. Here's this guy. It's a cool looking dude, though. Now we ended up shooting him in the spine. Oof. 210, he was 40 points away. 41 points away from being a diamond, but had a cool, cool looking rack, that's for sure. That's the darn thing about the red deer, is they, you know, when they grab your attention, they, they, they freaking strangle your attention. <laughs> with their uh, ginormous antlers. Good old top notch. So I guess it's close to your name. Very true, Burger. See, you just told me your name was Bo and I went straight to Burger. Jeez. That person am I. Good stream rider. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go pick up these level sevens. At that point, it's actually past their need zone time. I wasn't sure when their need zone was. It's actually at 5 and it stops at 9.30, so we might dial it back to 5 or maybe 6. I don't like hunting when it's kind of dark out. I don't think it's fun to watch as a stream either because it's kind of dark. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wind it back to... Well, you know what? Let's just do that right now. That way... We, well, that'll be like half the distance to the deer anyway. Couple of weeks ago with a crossbow, NASA gamer, pro, well done. I'm sure, that was quite a thing. All right, where's CJ? Sorry, I was getting caught up in the chat, CJ. You recommend on Steam? Um, you can try out Russian fishing if you want. It's a free-to-play game, um, and it's pretty fun, I think, anyway. And not violent at all. Pro deer. You just got the hunter. It's so much fun. Well, good deal. You're amazing, Tyler Monkey said. There's a big red stag down in Georgia, and there's a huge reward by the Wildlife Association for killing him. My gosh. What map is this? This is Quadricolinus, to big block. I put a T on the end of that for some reason, but yeah. Balbo, Balbo boy, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Shot a doe this morning, bro. Well done. And yeah, we got a gold here, right down the middle. Um, this dude, fantastic. Yeah, Memphis Mills. Last time I went deer hunting, I just got a doe as well. I was in it, in it for the food, bro. You look, you look at me. 
Do I, I look like a person who enjoys food? Look, I can, I can twirl my mustache like a French chef. Of course, of course I love food. That's all I was in. And so far we've been, uh, I've been posting some, f some food photos every now and then. If you pay attention to the old, uh, BZ Ab Instagram, you might see some photos there. Man, I've been here a while, but this is guy right here is awesome, Tyler Monkey. Speaking the truth. Speaking, speaking the truth. Appreciate it. I'm watching this on two screens right now, Memphis Mills, right on. Me too, bro. I'm playing on one screen and reading the chat, and then on the other screen. Okay, so we have another herd of red deer over here. Oh, there's a stag. So it's always a weird situation because you see the stag and you know in your brain you're like, well, the chances that the great ones here is like little, you know, little to none. But if I just go ahead and shoot this stag, then uh, to ruin my chance. Ruin my chance at a great one just standing here. Look at this. What are you doing there? God, she's standing right in front of him. Like a bodyguard. Got a new computer a couple weeks ago. Right on. That's awesome. Is it is it sweet, CJ? Is it sweet? My favorite map in the game is uh, is Verhonga Savannah. What up? Stupid. What were you thinking? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Huh? Say hello. Say hello to Vasquez. The 45 Cyclone. One lung. One lung. Dropped it. Dropped it. 45 Cyclone, everybody. If you haven't used it, Missing out. You're missing out. That's all I'm saying. All right, body, body, uh, guard here. I need you to stop guarding the body. I need you to stop guarding the old body there. The when spine shots were the best shots to make in the game. See, it's crazy because I came from the Hunter Classic, and like a spine shot in the Hunter Classic, like. They would lay there, like in real life. They would lay there on the ground, immobile, and just stare at you until you took another shot and put them out of their misery. Um, realistic. And then with the Hunter Call of the Wild, they took that out. And and I don't, like, as cruel as it seems, like, that's, that's the reality of your shot. And if you're going to use the Hunter Call of the Wild in any way to speak of kind of a, a simulation type hunting game, I, I think you should have left it in. I know that they, uh, you know, they kind of put this out for console and kids to play and whatnot, but that's just kind of the reality of making sure you uh, make a good shot. Lind uh, Lindley, I had a male red deer sound from this side. How's work so far? It's going quite well, Matthew. Thanks for asking. There you are. Okay, that totally threw me off. Just standing up and like like they're ready to turn around. Did you know there's four wheelers? <gasps> there are. What? When did they come out? Bro, I've been playing this game since 2017, and you're just now telling me that there's four wheelers in the game? What the heck? I've been riding my dog with a saddle this whole time. You're telling me that there's 
Freaking quad bikes? Jeez Louise, bro. Oh, put your freaking head down, bro. I hate the beach, but I stand California with my toes in the sand. Ugh. Demonetize. Would you ever play Call of Duty? I I, I have played many uh, many a Call of Duty game growing up. I, in fact, I I probably played them all. I I remember Call of Duty when it was just uh running running up Oklahoma D Day up on the beach, and the and the graphics were were crud. It was bad looking back, but at the time it was it was good. MDO intro is complete fire. Thank you so much. You know, it's it's one of those things that I kind of put together and I kind of thought like it would kind of evolve over time as I got cool photos of uh, animals and fish and whatnot. I would just kind of switch out photos of things and or add it in because there are, you know, when you're trying to like line up photos with the beat and the song, you can kind of choose how many, uh, how many beats you want to hit. But, uh, yeah, so I'm glad you like it, J Gaming. Though appreciate it. Kind of, it kind of just kind of came together, and I was like, yeah, that's all right. I like that. Okay, what do we got here? Wolf tracks? Oh no, not wolf tracks. We usually see a red deer up on this hill. I don't see him yet. We're still too far out, I guess. Least favorite map on the Hunter Call of the Wild and Fishing Planet. Ooh, good questions. Least favorite map on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I think I spend the least amount of time on Medved Taiga. Not to say that I don't enjoy it. I just don't spend very much time there. So probably Medved Taiga. Um, and then Fishing Planet, uh, I, I really, I mean, other than the, the, like, obviously, like, Lenny Vala is probably my least favorite map in the game, but I also don't spend a lot of time at the, uh, Falcon Lake place. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, there's wolves. Wolves! In real live in 2019. Whoa, dang. Red level seven red deer looks so good. Sorry, just a second, guys. You hunt for food too, right on. Silver Ridge Peaks to make money. I'm not I'm not trying to make money though. There you are. He's a small boy. A small boy. Hey, there's another one. Fleeing. The fleeing from us or the wolves? That is the question. I'm curious to see if it turns around. You're fishing for catfish, okay. What gun are you using? We're using the f uh, three, 404? 304. 404 error. Uh, 303 is what we're using. 303 burnished. Oh, hello. Hello there, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> oh, jeez. You're not playing fair. I thought we were gonna have a fair fight. Drop dead. Yeah. Just me saying it makes him drop dead. We got the left lung skull. Oh. A little awful now. Yeah. They don't, like, this uh, 45 doesn't work for them. Like, uh, it's not a valid rifle to use. But boy, is it fun. They, they need to change it. Change it just for me. If it ever gets changed in the future, just realize that they did that specifically for me. 
Ray graphics card, 8 gigabyte, 1 AMD Radeon RX, I think, processor, i3. Well, right on, CJ. I got a road deer there. Oh. Thought. Saw the silhouette of a red deer. We got that one. And usually there's some over here too. So let's go ahead and get this guy. So we got our wind going straight to him anyway. See you, Sarah. Later tonight. Sounds good. Are you gonna say card for the pike? Cause I've been catching stuff. Absolutely. Are you from the UK? No, I'm not. I don't know if it was my uh, my accent that gave it away, or if you were talking to someone else. But uh, but no, I am as much from the UK as Ted Lasso is. Should come down to Farmington, Connecticut, or upstate New York and catch some big trout. Ugh. Hey, you talked me into it. I'm, I'm, uh, it sounds fun to me. I'm game. The great one soon, Mag, so you can just start fishing. <laughs> I see how it is, Matthew. I see how it is. It's only every Monday, you know? We only play the Hunter Call of the Wild on Mondays. So uh, we can put up with it. Where's where's my dog at? I, I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's, he's chillaxing. If, uh, if Zachary um, gets off his batute, maybe he'll bring him in here, but I doubt it. We'll just have to see, I suppose. I think, let's see. Yeah, we still got 13 minutes. KCCA says, hello, unknown, unknown. Whoa. This is like uh, being contacted by the, the Dark Brotherhood or something. Very cool. Well, the KCCA says hello. Well, um, Bo from BZ Hub says hello back. The KCCA. I mean, I've, ha I've had the KCCA in, 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 in a few videos now, so I mean, geez Louise. This dude, just chillaxing. All right, like I said, there's usually a red deer in here, but I am not seeing any. Another, another road deer though. Hmm. I would say it's a little disappointing, but it's not. Done, we've done pretty well here. How many, how many spots on this lake we have? So, uh, one of my favorite bot spots is this right here. But, I don't know. I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to get there. We'll try. This is one of my favorite spots in, in Quattro. You love this game, though? Right on. Is Lenny a lot? Understandable, CJ. Tried duck hunting in the Hunter Call of the Wild? I have, bubs. I don't enjoy it. Um, uh, duck hunting in the Hunter Classic is much more fun. It is, uh, a lot of fun. If you haven't tried duck hunting in the Hunter Classic, then I... I recommend it to you, because it is a lot of fun. <laughs> How old am I? I am... I am 43 years old. No, I'm not. 27. Try a ripe the ripe old age of 27. This is when we find some diamond ibex just running out in the middle middle of the hills here. There they are right there. Hi ibex. Oh three. I I still haven't done the Grand Slam ibex. I probably have a lot of uh, the Hunter Call the Wild videos I could put out. <laughs> Because I have a lot of stuff I can do. In fact, the other day I was thinking about restarting. And I was like, ah, do I really want to do that to myself? I don't know. Who knows? Such a boring map. It's true. Have to go. Burger sounds good. Dogging Lake is just an expensive rocky lake. Not much variety. I either go to White Moose or Rocky. St. Croix is your favorite map? I don't know what map. If I knew, I would tell you. Understandable. Some musky fishing too while you're fishing for bike. I can try. I haven't spent a lot of time musky fishing. Um, usually because I would, I didn't have amazing gear at the time that I was fishing for pike and musky. And when I caught a musky, it was an absolute pain to deal with because they were heavier and fought more. Um, 
And so, and they didn't pay as well. They have a they have a worse pay ratio for their weight. So I always wanted to catch pike. So I just avoided muskie like the plague. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, I mean I think it would be fun to catch some muskies too. I'll throw around a little jerk bait or something like that. See what we can catch. Catch the hunter in a while, but I wish I had it. I love this game. Right on. I haven't played the hunter in a long time, but I know the second scope you unlock the mill dot lineup perfect when zero to 100 yards. Mill dot is 50 yards. You know I have used this scope for so long that uh, that I just I just know. <laughs> I just I just know how to aim at it. So this is the only scope I use. I I use this scope and this scope only. Just because it doesn't matter what distance the animal's at, I can aim at it and hit it. One month, so I haven't touched uh, yeah, exactly. Where are the fish when you see them on the fish finder? Uh so yeah, you don't know that. The the big thing about the fish finder is that it tells you if there are fish in the general location that you're at and the other major thing it tells you is the depth that you should be fishing at so when you see lots of fish towards the top you know you might be wanting to use top water if you see fish towards the bottom that's when you can start using things along the bottom or maybe you pick out a crankbait that uh, dives down to that depth or if you see fish all over, that's when you can take advantage of the crankbait diving down and coming back up and diving down and coming back up. Um, and then you can kind of hit all those depths at the same time. So that's, uh, that is the, those are the kind of the two benefits of the fish finder. I realize it's not, not as cool. It's not some UAV in Call of Duty that shows you exactly where they are or something like that, but it does, does tell you. That you uh, that you have some fish in your general area. Oh, I don't have a I don't really have a favorite in a real life lake, but I do live in Kansas. You don't know I'm a Kansas boy. I say it every once in a while. <clears throat> nice trout, salmon. On the coast you can get some tuna marlins, reds, and more. Sounds cool, Alpha 19. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Plus, if I go to uh, North Carolina, I can see old uh, David Provis, our moderator. <laughs> Least favorite fish to fish for in Fishy Planet? Oof. I don't know. That's a good question. Red roe deer. Least favorite fish to fish for? Oh. Another roe deer. Well, this is just a very poor map for red deer at the moment. Or a lake, I guess, on a map. So I usually saw red deer, like, along this back side here. And then I would see... We have one here. That's it. That's it. Got another roe deer. I'm gonna get down a little bit lower, that way we can see a little bit. <sighs> Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, calm down, Hunter Heenil. He's Louise. What's my favorite fish in real life? Like, that I go fishing for, or just favorite fish overall? Least favorite fish to fish for in Fishing Planet, though. Bro, that's hard. I don't know. Are you sure you're not 43? I'm... I'm kind of sure. I forget how old I am all the time. And my wife has to remind me. Stop complaining about your back. You're not old. So, I mean... Maybe I am old and she's just lying to me all this time. <laughs> maybe my back hurting is a genuine concern, huh? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, we got a red deer call. Hey! You're not a red deer! You silly goober! What are you making red deer calls for? You going for a swim now? You're crazy! Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Let's go surfing with this Iberian Mouflon. You, you crazy guy! I'm telling you, those Iberian Mouflon, they're, they're just all up to all sorts of things these days. Oh, there it is again. Oh, that was the move on this time. There you are! Slow your booty down! <laughs> Got 
Gotcha! Gotcha! You're not the only Kansas boy. I'm not? There are more out there? Did I start, change my start times for the stream? Uh, no, unless you don't have, um, unless you don't have, um, uh, daylight savings time or whatever, where you live. Because, uh, daylight savings time happened in the U.S., so, uh, we're, we're an hour behind now? We went back an hour, I think. Can't really recall. So, if you don't do that, then it might seem like my stream time is off, yes. Haha! <laughs> Twenty-seven pound trophy musk for a thousand eight hundred sixty-seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got three minutes. Three minutes. Three long, short minutes. Level three, Muffin. A Muffin over there. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I mean, we'll check out this lake and we'll leave. How about that? Probably go past three minutes a little bit, but uh, we'll check it out and then we'll leave. What's my biggest fish I've caught? Oh, that's a, that's a thingamabob. Is it, is it this? Or is it this? Uh, the aqua muffin. What a weird fish with horn. I agree, right? Not even the African tiger fish has horns, just big teeth. The animal counts as 10 push ups, 19,435. All right, I got. Uh, I, I recently did 19,400 push ups, so I'm just at 35 now, I guess. Stand in the water because they couldn't get me in the water. Really? Awesome stuff. Thanks, bro. Memphis Mills, good night. Fish the San Joaquin Delta in real life. Whoa, Justin. Bro. Strut strutting your stuff then, man. Showing up. Psh, psh, you guys. Psh, fishing San Joaquin Delta. Psh, psh, don't know nothing. I fished that in real. Oh, don't you. Don't you tell me that. Get the freak out of here, dogs. Get out of here. You'll talk to Lucille. Lucille the Vas Lucille Vasquez. The 45 caliber air rifle. That's her full name. It's actually Lucille Masquez Vasquez. It's like her mother's idea to rhyme her middle name and last name together. But now today I oh okay yeah, yeah yeah gotcha you're a Wisconsin boy Wisconsin boy <laughs> very cool the switch to tail tail to row tail row he had a glitch with one stack zones not responding oh no no go for the pike for the moolah understandable. Redneck boy, hi. Huge fan, oh my gosh. Well, right on, redneck boy. Glad you can make it then. I'm always, I'm always in it to have huge fans in the chat. I always love chatting with huge fans. I, I do think so, CJ. I think they will. Call me crazy. Yeah, I think so. Fish for the muskie with the golem lure? Okay. I, I don't think I've traveled there yet. I tried setting up a lot of the stuff before I got started. So, uh... So, uh... 
I'll throw in another rod for the musky. And then we'll, uh, yeah. I see you, Ibex, or are you Moofins? That's the question. I think they might be Moofins. There is tracks down there. All right, 35. You would never, I would never lie about that, Joe. Look at my face. Look, look at, look in my eyes. I would never lie about recently doing 19,400 push-ups. Okay. Never. New year will probably unlock a 73 in the new gear. will probably be 75. It'll be similar. Amazonian maze. I think so. Yeah. So I usually see red deer down here like that, dude. Another level 7 with ginormous antlers. There's another guy. So this is where I actually shot my first diamond red deer. It was over where this guy is right now. And I remember sneaking around the whole lake. Sneaking up on him. Let's go over here, get him. What map? We're on Quattro right now. Quattro Kalinas. Time for the unicorn great one, exactly. Little seven still over there. Is that a white wolf? The white wolf sitting over there. I thought it was a rock. It was so white, I thought it was a rock. Just hit 200,000 at the casino? Whoa, bro. Does that transfer over to Fishing Planet? Because that would be sweet. 30 pounds stripe on Smith Lake, but he usually fishes a spot in largemouth bass. Right on. That's that's a 30 pound stripe bass. Not bad at all, dude. I'd be, I'd be ha happy about that for sure. Did he keep it or did he take a pick and let it go? That's what I'm wondering. I'm not sure what I would do if I caught a fish that striped bass that big. Oh, four Iberian Mufon over there too. 115 to 132 is a good size. Got that white wolf still hanging out. All right, red deer. Show your red face. And your antlers and stuff. How's it? We watched. We watched this guy this entire time. Walk, walking along the side here. Now that we're finally over here, he's nowhere to be seen. What the heck? What? the heck bro I know what we should do this looks like a job for using a red deer call I still think they should take voice calls like if I just if I just make a noise into my microphone I feel like I should play it out loud I can, I can do that exact noise. Oi! Get back here, you stinking deer! Well, that was a little guy. The big, the big guy is still out there. But you know what? I think we're just gonna have to wait till next week, everyone. Because it's time to move on. Here we go. Everyone's excited. Moving on the fishing planet. <laughs> that was such a anticlimactic ending there. Uh, I uh, recently logged in the fishing planet. This is partially one of the reasons why I was running late to the stream. I logged in the fishing planet and then I exited out and it took like two minutes to finally close out a fishing planet. Goodness gracious. Rookie, 
Finally catching you live, I must say thanks for the most amazing content you made. One of the most likable content creators I've come across. Bro, well, appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you, rookie. New place and fishing plan, you should grind in the Amazon maze if it is like that. Yeah, I mean, when when I can get to the Amazon maze, yeah, I'll, I'll fish it a lot. That's for sure. 55 pound uni musky with the golem lure. Oh, bro. We'll definitely have to use the golem lure then. Let's get a good, good rod. Good rod for the musky lure. Got a 42 pound rod here and we'll get here Kraken, 43 pound Kraken. That'll work, that'll work perfectly. All right, where's some around 40? 40 something. 50s, in a lot of 50s. There's 41.2 pound braid. Guess that's probably as good as we're gonna get, eh? Now we need some titanium. Give me some titanium. Where's Wolverine? He can use his adamantium to help me find titanium. All right, now we need that old golem lure. The old... I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's overdone. Everyone's heard it. Everyone's heard the, the Lord of the Rings golem lure joke. Psh, don't even get me started. All right, I think we're good other than that. We have a, a bass set up for funsies, I guess. We have this for the muskies. We've got uh, some rods for the pike, which we can do as well. And uh, yeah, time to go to St. Croix now, everyone. Big man, new subscriber from Kansas City MO. KCMO, bro. KCMO, KCK. Like we're, we're like the two halves of KC. This is amazing. Right on, big man. What is the biggest fish I've ever caught? I, I literally, I just put that on there not too long ago. Big fish. Fish, L, I, R, L. I got you, bro. First time with a gun, Kentucky Whitetail 223 is a caliber. I, I do not, Michelle. What, what, are you sitting in a blind or are you sitting in a tree stand or what are you going to do? Are you going to drive out and just go uh, sit next to a field or what's your plan? How's it going, Xander Harris's? How, how, hi, how are you? The red deer call is hilarious, I agree. Sounds like you in the morning. Sounds like me my, with my back. With my back problem. I'm just going to keep talking about my back problems. With my back. I get up in the morning and I go, that's <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly it. Favorite gun in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Oh, that's a hard one. Hard one. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. 303, 45 Vasquez. All good choices. I'm, I'm not sure. You'd have to... I'm not sure, man. Man. Man! Hang me over a pit of fire and ask me to choose one, one weapon that's my favorite. Urgh. Probably a 303. I really enjoyed 303. When it came out and I shot it a few times, I was in love. I was in love. It's like a hammer. Love it. Fishing at Bolivia right now, right on. Sponsor time. Never heard of it. No, never been late to a stream. I am always on time. I am practically a wizard. Never, never late, nor am I early. I arrive precisely when I mean to. All right. Figured being level 43, you could manage. I, I would hope so, Jack. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> All right, we're gonna change the time. Here we go, seven. It was five minutes for a uh, cool down, I guess. We got uh, five, six, and seven here. Got this little opening in the uh, in the grass that you can kind of see some stuff. And cast right on the outside of the old lilies here. Throw that puppy down. Get old number six here. Using uh, seven aught hooks. We uh, it's gonna work out. All 
All right, top notch. Now we got the old golem lure. Might be going fishing tomorrow, right on. fish on. I have tons of home store. Yeah, I do. That's that is probably one of the biggest things I've uh, I've bought in Fishing Planet is uh, home storage because I, I make so many videos about random stuff like I don't just keep you know like if you're going to high 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 level lakes, then there's no reason for you to continue keeping your your rods that you used at level one or whatever. But because I may make a video about being level one again, I have to keep those 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 rods and stuff from being level one. So uh, so yeah, so I still have them. <laughs> we uh, we have another uh, fish on. This fish pulled us out to 160 feet somehow. And this isn't even one of our light rods. This is one of our like decent sized rods. So I have high hopes that this is either a muskie or a pike. We'll just have to see. Uh, both of the other rods are going crazy right now. Pulling us out to 220 right now. Jesus, please. this is crazy. Keep it up, it's ish cuz. Well, right on. Thank you, thank you. Will do. You might be going tomorrow with your friend, right on. Is that game worth playing if someone doesn't want to spend money on it? Dalton Holder, absolutely. You can totally play this game without spending money on it. Yeah, I mean, this has got a big fish on it. An annoyingly large fish on, on here right now. Pulling us out to 200. It's ridiculous. Can you get boats at St. Croix? You can, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Here we go. He's coming at us now. Really big man. That's crazy. Bo the wizard. 30 out 6, 300. Yeah, sounds good. What screen recorder do we use? OBS. 137 pound tarpon and fishing, fishing planet. Right on, Dana. That's awesome. I, I think it is a unicorn. Yes. I cannot recall the last time I fought a fish this much. What you got there? Dogs. Dogs? It's like the worst time to bring dogs in. All right, dogs, be quiet. <laughs> Gotten to the longest fight I've I've been in a, 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 with a pike before. It's ridiculous. I I cannot remember the last time I fought a pike this long. I I can only think that this is a musky. I cannot remember the last time I caught a musket at this spot. But but I don't know why a pike would be fighting this much. On 24 pound on a 24 pound rod and reel. Still. You think it's a unicorn musky? Uni pike? I do. You think it's a unicorn musky too? Uni pike. It's jumping out of the water a lot, which is kind of crazy. World record unipike. <laughs> World record unipike. <laughs> Captain Unicorn may be enjoying company here. I guess so. Goodness gracious. Stop reading chat. You need to focus. Focus, Bo. I know. <sighs> Towel. Take the, the take the sweat off my forehead here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, here's the bright side. We are totally gonna get three arrows for XP. Three green arrows for XP on this guy. <clears throat> Uni Pike is your bet. 
See, I'm, I'm very confused because I'm, I'm sure that this is my 24 pound rod and reel. I hope anyway. It was in my third spot, which I thought I put from light to heaviest. Zach brought the popcorn for the show. Yeah, I know. Zoom, zooming us out. I think you're just too close. You're trying to get people to see your nose. Stop looking at me. Look at your fish. I'm reeling in constantly. Nothing happened. Come here, you. Doesn't seem that big, does he? Oh, he's pretty big. There we go. Well, starting it off. 38 pound Northern Pike, everybody. Here we go. Here. Boy. I can't do the dance. I can't do the dance. Ow, ow. Fantastic. Fantastic, everybody. Can you do the dance? Popcorn With a popcorn bucket? Dang, bro. That's awesome. Well, pretty exciting. First fish we caught is St. Croix. Big ol' 38-pound uh, northern pike. Where's that set by uh, the records? Oh, uh, I think they get into the 40s, I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure what my record, man. This isn't the, obviously it's not a PB. But uh, I haven't taken a picture of a northern pike in a while, so let's go ahead. Do it. Smile, he nail. Oh, what a great picture. Four thousand five hundred and nine dollars, thirty-eight pounds, two thousand seventy-nine XP. Three arrows, of course. Fantastic, everyone. Turned our light on. Top notch. We had two bites on the other ones too, but oh, puppy time. Recording now. Wrong bus. Yeah. Puppies like popcorn? They do like popcorn. So yeah, I heard. do. Corn. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, there's scraps on the ground now. Wanna come sit with me? Oh, oh golly. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh, just two puppies. I don't know if you guys heard this, but old King Bjorn, uh, he's he's been uh, eating eating well. He's he's a big boy now. Oh, this is like not having it. You're kind of heavy, Born. Uh, don't call me heavy. Don't call me heavy. He was really heavy to pick up. Uh, you want a piece of popcorn? Fat free popcorn. Oh, King Beer. Fat free popcorn. <laughs> of course. Awesome. That's, that's, that's a fat, fat free, free butter right there. Fat free popcorn for Oslo, too. Alright, buddy. Alright, puppies. Oh, let us go. Big block. Bro, I didn't even see that and it didn't even pop up or anything because I have it on this dang screen. Bro. You're. Oh, All right, man. sit by the puppies there. Big block, man, you're spoiling me, bro. I'm telling you. First fish of the day, I know it's tough, but it can bring yourself to do it. Hit the like button for that uni. Uni, can, can ya? If it doesn't ruin your day. If it doesn't ruin your day, perhaps, perhaps hit the like button. Appreciate it, big block, man. That's awesome. Oh, God, I'm out of breath now. I had to hold him that whole time. <laughs> Last year, obviously a great one, Pike. I agree. I'll have to let all the Hunter Call of the Wild people know what they're missing out on. Just caught the great one, Pike. You know, it's, it's, it, I, I want to say it's a big deal. What the heck? What the heck happened with that? Did a fish take that? Look at that dono. Yeah, Big Block's always spoiling us. Well, I really appreciate it, Big Block. Spoiling me, man. And I will say, I will say that uh, a, a second GoPro 
second GoPro is uh is, is incoming. It's in the works. It's in the works. Before before too long. Got another fish on. Another fish on. Look how big Oslo is. Oslo's getting bigger. He, uh, he kind of annoyed me on our walk today or our run today, but uh, Usually usually with Oslo his thing is is that he uh, He runs in a straight path usually and Bjorn stops and smells everything So I can always count on Oslo to keep Bjorn kind of in a straight path except today He evidently forgot all about that and he was just all wishy-washy and it was it was just a nightmare It was horrible. I, I didn't enjoy it at all. All right, well here we go, Trophy Northern, right after the uni there. Not too shabby. Right out in front's where they're biting, evidently. <laughs> and now he's gonna have back pain for months, right? Ah, is it spelled Bjorn or Bjorn? Reason that I'm asking Bjorn is very Danish in Denmark, where I'm from. Yeah, well, we named them Bjorn like, uh, well, he, he's Norwegian, you know, Norse Galgen, so. So yes, you did spell it correctly, the second time, rookie. Fishing with JJ. Can you do more bass fishing and cat fishing? Bro, what are you, what is going on right now? Everyone's being crazy. Thank you so much, JJ. Um, but yeah, we probably can. And that's why I actually brought my bass setup so that we can uh, we can split, we can change. Thank you so much, fishing with JJ. Um, but yeah, I figured we would fish for some pike and some muskie, and then maybe. Switch over for some bass at Everglades or some here here in a bit. <sighs> When's my next Weeping Willow stream? Good question. I don't know. That or maybe uh, maybe next stream we just focus on bass and catfish. How about that? Maybe we'll just fish at Everglades and Quanchkin next stream. Now way this stream we can just catch pike and muskie. Did you get your kayak yet? And are donos going towards any special gear now? Uh, yes, we did get the kayak. Um, I showed it off in my uh, camping video on the Modern Day Outdoorsman. Uh, showed it off at the very end there. Um, I haven't. I've have gone fishing in it once, and then uh, and then unfortunately an accident happened with the roof rack of my car, and I wasn't able to uh, take it out again. But. Uh, but yes, it is a very nice kayak. Called it. Join late shiny Eevee, no trouble there. It's a decent size one, evidently. It's fighting a little bit. Could be a good little trophy. Amazing stream. Keep it up, Ryder. Thank you so much. How was my day, Layton? It was a, it was a great day. It's a great day, Layton. How was your day? So Bo Blitz turned in his weight for the tournament. He did indeed. Yes, he did. And um, we, uh, Zachary and I both did the math. I just did quick math. I just kind of added the weights up real quick, like, and I didn't really pay attention to the ounces. But uh, it looks like we beat Blitz by one pound. And Zach said that we only beat him by a few ounces, evidently. So, uh, so I do think we won. I do think I am gonna have some game keys to give out to you, uh, to you peeps. Which I'm excited about. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see. I'm still waiting for them to uh, come out and say it for sure. You know, they haven't put out a a, a final uh, post saying, "Hey, he won" or something like that. Caden Dickinson, dollar with the dollar. Thank you so much, Caden. Appreciate it. I can make a stream. CJ trying to get Bo that new GoPro. Bro, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Cause my wife was even talking to me. She was like, what do you want for your birthday and, and Christmas? And I was like, well, thankfully, uh, we've had, we've had one, one dude 
who's been uh, who's been very generous lately. So I think if you if you can help me, let's let's go ahead and get a second GoPro. That way we can get Zachary GoPro and while we're fishing and whatnot to have two different perspectives while we're fishing and, and that way we can do kind of uh, little competitions between the two of us and, and fun stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think that's what we'll do. Come here, you. Are you a trophy? I think you're a trophy. Oh yeah, 19 pound trophy, $2,200, 681 XP, not bad. Behind on the videos, hey, no big Carly, no big. All right, it's nine o'clock, almost. I'm, I'm like getting ahead of myself here. Uh, maybe we'll, uh, let's catch, let's catch like one or two more pike. And then at nine o'clock, we'll get in the boat and uh, fish for some muskie. How about that? How, how about that? Bringing fish during Halloween and got the monstrosity kayak, which is nice. It is nice, isn't it? It's a cool kayak, that's for sure. But you think the pro angler sport bundle is worth the 50% off? Ooh, I don't know, Kilo Knight. I mean, here's the thing. If you buy a pack and you think it's worth it, then it, it's worth it to me. If, if, it's, if it makes the game more fun for you, then it is 100% worth it, you know? Don't let something I say get in the way of you having fun, you know? Just because I, I don't think that you, um, between buying premium and buying packs, should uh, should buy packs, doesn't mean that you you can't buy packs. If, if, if you buy a pack and you have a ton of fun with it, then that's all that matters, you know? So, so yeah, if it seems like a good deal, 50% off for the for the Pro Angler Sport Bundle and it allows you to uh, fish for some fish that you want to go for that you can't right now, then by all means, you get that pack, Kilo Knight. Hey, Team BZ Hub was with you the whole way. Thanks, Big Block. Yeah, man. Oh, I saw the uh, I saw I saw your comment in the in the YouTube the video. I think it was. That was awesome. I was trying to get Ollie Hamidi to uh, comment on my post on one of the dovetail fishing games. I uh, I, I commented I was uh, channeling that Ollie Hamidi uh, big fish energy and uh, and I tagged him in it, and, but he, he didn't comment back. <laughs> Who knows? Someday, someday maybe we'll get Ollie Hamidi to uh, follow me back. Where the pike at? The pike are everywhere, evidently, Nick D, because they're they're biting everything we throw out. This guy's fighting, bro. William James McBain, how's it going? Level 26, what should I go next? Uh, EESS. I'm not sure. Whatever you can manage in the EESS. Head to head, heck yeah, man. Where are we fishing at? We're fishing at St. Croix. Look at that hornet's, that hornet's storm is going like crazy. It's reeling in. We think this dude's a trophy as well? I think the fish are fighting more. I think they change the uh, values for their fighting, their fighting effort. Um, I remember when I was fishing for the ghost bike, I think I found the ghost bike kind of annoying. Um, uh, less boring and more annoying. Like, uh, I don't know. I catch one like every 15 casts or something like that. And, uh, or, or more. And I just found that more annoying than boring. <laughs> and then does annoying thing, like, w does an annoying thing become a boring thing? Sure. You know, so maybe I was bored at the same time. Try to catch a walleye at night will make a great amount of money. I, I did bring some narrow spoons, so maybe, maybe we can do that. Look at this dude. This is another uni. Don't tell me. Ah, it's a 21 pound trophy northern. Right on. Another good fish, 2,500 bucks for that guy. Cool. Well, it's nine o'clock now. Perfect timing. Caught one fish and it, it uh, moved us to nine o'clock. So let's go ahead and get in the boat. Ye old boat here, the Frankenfish, and then we got this boat. Ah, uh, it's a trophy pike, Emily says. Good job, thanks, William. 
run into this person's boat. He <laughs> They were so scared. They were so they thought I was gonna run into them. <laughs> Losers. What about your sailboat, dummy? Ah, yeah, your sail's down. You aren't gonna go anywhere. S -s Stupid. No. Put on your unicorn mask if this is new. <laughs> Where is that thing? Oh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I put it away. I'm gonna have to go grab it. Put it away in my Halloween box, but I'll I'll have to go grab it so we can keep it out for the rest of the year. It's a 360-day thing. I forgot. All right, here we go. Let's cast. Let's cast around. Cast around. Cast around. Cast up. Cast down. And get get down. Something something like that. Should we get pulled around by this guy? Or I guess I kind of threw this out before I put the anchor down anyway. So. Did I kill the great one red deer? I did not, no. We looked for him. Didn't find him, though. All right, muskers. Muskies, where are you? Marcus Wong, hey, do you think the Amazon maze pack is a good idea to buy? Uh, if you think it's a good idea to buy, heck yeah. Um... I think that uh, if you just level up and get there, then you can fish there as much as you want instead of just uh, however long the game allows you to uh, go there or whatever. So if you uh, focus less on going to go fishing there right now and focus more on uh, leveling up so that you can just get there by playing the game, then uh, good way to go about it, I guess. Michael Myers, how's it going? Have I ever tried trolling in Fishing Planet? Uh, it's not possible in Fishing Planet, unfortunately. Come on, muskies. Come on, muskies. Do musky stuff. As far as the whole, like, uh, fish of a thousand casts goes, we're, uh, what? We're, uh, we're about three, three casts in. Three out of a thousand. Look at this, Michael Myers. Blowing in the house. Thank you so much, bro. Jeez Louise. Everyone's, everyone's doing crazy stuff today. Really appreciate it, man. Got Big Block. And, uh, was it Caden? Caden as well. Who else? I'm trying to remember now. My memory. I'm going back. I'm going. Fishing with JJ as well. There's the one I was missing. Fishing with JJ too. Goodness gracious. Anyone see it? I still haven't seen it, bro. I still haven't seen it. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cast towards the lilies if I want the uni. Which which pair? Which li These lilies? Th those lilies over there? These lilies? CJ, you crazy, bro. You crazy, CJ. How's it going? Just got back into Fishing Planet because of your channel, Marf, Marf Man. Well, right on, dude. It's a, it's a great game to get into, that's for sure. It's really easy to talk people into playing a free game. It's perhaps my favorite thing about Fishing Planet. Yeah, this this is how you uh, this is how you troll in Fishing Planet. You throw your lure out, and then you uh, back your boat up like this. We're trolling. We're we're trolling everyone. Can't see what's behind me. Oh, did we just get a fish? Did that actually work? Bro, that's hilarious.
Oh my god, I'm gonna rename this video How to Troll for Muskies. I'm gonna get a bazillion views. How to Troll for Muskies in Fishing Planet. Bazillion views. Look at him fighting. He's crazy. What do you, is he think, you think this is a tiger or a regular one? Yo, good old Joe. Good old Joe setting this up. Trolling for muskers. Use a popper? We didn't even have to use a popper. We just cast it out and then started trolling. That's all it took. Determination and some trolling. Boom! 27 pound trophy musky, bro. That's right. That's right. Look at that. People ask me all the time, they go, Bo, how are you so good at this game? I just, I just go, <laughs> just natural, just natural. I read the chat a lot, and it's natural. <laughs> I read the chat, and people give me things to do, and it's all natural skill. After, after that, it's all natural skill. <laughs> how are you tonight? I'm doing well, Daryl. Thanks for asking, how are you? Improperly troll on fishing plant and the fisherman, but that game is trash. It's true. Very true. Fish on the bottom there. Alright, are we gonna troll again? Oh wow, we can cast way out here. What's behind us? Try it one more time with the trolling. All right, we're gonna troll like no one's ever seen trolling before. Oh, I thought we had a bite again. look behind me or else I'll, I'll pull my lure. <laughs> well, that's okay, Brayden. I'm not making you fun of you for bro. Just help me get a fish. Fish showing up. Didn't get, we didn't immediately get a fish like the last time. Is Green Day my favorite band? I don't think so. Don't believe so anyway. Throwing over here. Maybe there's a musky over here. Hiding. Classic musky hiding spot. After the release of Fishing Planet. So stupid in my opinion. I yep, I agree. Tantan is here. How's it going, Tantan? Crowded house. Shot your first buck last week in eight point. Bro, well done. That's awesome. But Tantan, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How are you? How are you, sir? Sometimes you get them in the cove by the boat dock, eh? Okay. Hmm. 
I'm gonna back up just a tad. Just a tad. We're just a little close. And then drop an anchor immediately. You thought I liked Green Day? I said that in the Amazon May stream. I, I don't have anything against Green Day. Ma Megan's really into Green Day. Megan has like a tattoo of Green Day on her on her body. I'm not really sure where it is. Oh, bro, I thought we had one there. Nine had a lot of fun at work, came home and worked out. Now I'm sitting down eating some food. Wow, what a day, bro. Well, right on, dude. Sounds like you did have a good day. Just gonna do a, ooh, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna do a constant retrieve right now. Instead of hitting different depths. There we go. Another mooski down, another mooski. Three weeks ago in real life. Dang, JJ, that's awesome. 9.8 pounds, dang. That's sweet. Where is Squoosh? Where is everyone? I know. Everyone just like, just quit. They all just left. They're like Mondays. Uh, I have a case of the Mondays and I can't go to the stream. You think it's a trophy, Muskie? Rick Turbo, remember you. I remember everyone, Rick. Come on, man. Don't you remember that about me? You don't remember that I remember everyone? Come on. Michael Myers is still here, good deal. Guess it's just you. Carly. Hey. That, that is worth it to me. You're, you're worth just as much as, as all of them added together now. Nope, it's definitely Rick. It's definitely Rick. I remember everyone, and it's definitely Rick. It's not RLK. RLK. It's too hard to say. I can't even say it. Can't even say RLK. It's definitely Rick. <laughs> it's fighting so hard on the Zeus. You think it's a unicorn? It's a pretty good sized fish. Pretty good sized fish here. We weren't anchored down, this fight would be a lot shorter. But that's okay. Yeah, I already read that, William. Well done. Oh, <laughs> it does not. You're you're such a liar. <laughs> it makes you cry. How was your day today? I had a great day. I worked. Um Finished working, took the dogs on a run, uh, worked on a video for the Modern Day Outdoorsman. Should be coming out soon. I'm excited about it. I catch a big old fish in there and beat my PB. So I'm excited about the video. Didn't beat it by a lot, but I still beat it. That's all that matters. Look at this dude. Look at this guy. There we go! I can't do the dance. I just let the unicorns dance, otherwise I'll just I'll just look silly. 53 pounds, four thousand and thirty dollars, sixteen hundred and eighty-nine XP. If you are curious, if you are curious if the pike could give you more XP and uh, and more money, there you go. Because we caught a. Uh, we caught a 38 pounder not too long ago, 38 pound pike that gave us 2400 XP and gave us similar, similar moolah, I believe. So that, that's a good fish though. Seems to beat my PB. I haven't fished for muskie at all, basically, so. That works, man. Heenil, you seem happy. Happy Heenil? Everyone knows. Happy alien, happy life. 
Happy alien, happy life. So uh, that's a rule in life. Cool. Look at the teethers on him too. Yeah, let's see. Uh, we got that. So unique northern, 38 pounds, 51 inches, 2,079 XP, 4,500 dollars. So not only did he weigh, what is that? Five pounds, 15 pounds less. So he takes up 15 pounds less room in your keep net, but he also gave you more money and more XP. Ooh. Good good guy Pike. It's all I'm saying. Good guy Pike is here to make you money and make you XP, bro. What do you what do I do for work? Got both right, awesome catch. Heck yeah. Well, good job. Thanks, William. Marf man, nice, cool. What do you do for work? I work at an auto auction at the moment trying to get on at a machine shop for machining. Sounds awesome, Blitz Hunts. Um, I am in um, software marketing for uh, hunting licenses and fishing licenses, camping and the auto, like, uh, hi, uh, nah, what am I trying to think? Um, you need permits for your boat and your uh, camper and whatnot. That's, that's the sort of stuff that we do. So uh, we make the software that sells licenses for like Missouri and, um, and Arkansas and Ohio and different other states and Ontario provinces and we have one in South Africa or something like that and we've got some others for uh, some Native American tribes so yeah that's what we do and so if you live in Ohio or you live in Missouri and you get some sort of email that's like hey it's that time of the year again you need to uh, uh, you know, renew your, your hunting license or, uh, buy a, buy a deer permit just like last year. Um, that's me. I'm the person sending you those emails. <laughs> so when you go, ah, oh, God, I hate it when they send me these emails, it's a bunch of junk. That's me. That's what I do. You're, you're basically saying, dang it, Bo, stop sending me all this junk. More for you two. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Hey, Buzz. What's up, Taven? Do you know where Musky Alley is? Musky Alley. Musky Alley. I, I don't think so. Is it in, like, the Lake of the Woods? Hundred percent think it will be a DLC. What well, will be a, a DLC? A Hino disguise? I hope so. That'll be a pack that I actually buy. Need some help. Okay, Angler. ESS. Thanks, Blitz. Hey, sounds good, Blitz. Take care, man. We've got another 11 minutes to cast out for a muskie. The Congo River DLC. Oh yeah, it'll be a pack, that's for sure. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, I think it will have a, some sort of pack that goes along with it. That's, that's how they make a lot of their money is uh, selling packs at the beginning of map launches for people who just want to go straight there and fish, so. So, yep, I bet they will. What's my bait? Or what? Sounds good. You're struggling. Well, we're using the golem lure right now. Do you have the golem lure? Because we just caught a unique pus musky uh, using the golem lure. Maybe you should use the golem lure. How many more times can I say the golem lure before you get annoyed that I'm saying the golem lure? Golem lure. A Hinel disguise, yeah. <clears throat> Lots of clear muskies there. 
It's on the left shoreline, about three quarters of the way to the opening out into the lake. All right, you're gonna make me go there, okay. All right, we're going, Grizz, jeez. God, don't twist my, twist my arm here. Three quarters of the way to the opening out into the lake. Are you talking like right here? Or are you talking like literally in the opening of the lake we go about three quarters and then cast? Oh, there's a lot of big fish right there. Jeez Louise. Or is that what you were talking about right there where we hit those? You're having to use Shad. Since Black Friday's next week, that's the perfect time to get a premium on Fishing Planet. Very true. It is very true. <laughs> Lucky I have a boat. Yeah. Made the moolah and I bought it. It's from uh, fishing all those... Along the patch of weeds along the shore. Which, which side now? On my right side or on my left side? Facing this way. These weeds? What level am I? I think I'm, uh, I think I'm still 59. So, no, no, I'm 61. <laughs> that shows you, that shows you how much I pay attention. Left. What are we fishing for? We're fishing for muskies. More left? This way? No, other side. Okay, this side. This ones? That patch of weeds over there? Or this one right here? The one, okay, here we go. We're gonna go with the ones closer to the gate or or the ones further away. Which ones? Further away or closer to the gate? Level 30, right on. The left ones, okay. All right, I'm going. Kept biting your hook when using large minnows when fishing for Triera. That was annoying. It's true. Yeah, it was annoying. <laughs> good old silver crookers. Um, yeah, it almost felt good using them for bait when we were in uh, Florida. We were using croakers for bait, and I was like, yeah, I'm getting back at you now, croakers. Urgh. All right. This is where the clear muskies are, eh? This is where we're gonna get them. Right along the weeds and out from there. So you're saying we should fish from the shoreline? Might get a tiger musky here too. What? <laughs> right next to the dock, closest to the end of the pike hole. Well, we're just not getting much of anything at the moment. along the shore just out from the weeds
do the troll. Is that what we're missing? Trolling is gonna get him. Maybe I'm not fishing in a good time anymore. So you cast along the shore. Like over here. Yeah, I, I already told you, Angler 1902. We're, we're using a golem lure right now to catch muskies. Listen, listen with your ears, not with your nose. Ready for Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm always ready for Thanksgiving. A holiday where you just eat a lot of stuff? Um, thank you. Where, what, what else can we come up with? Halloween, also about eating much stuff, eating much candy. I love holidays where you just eat a bunch of stuff. It's amazing. You use walkers here a lot? Okay. Well, I can switch to a walker, I guess. Morning's first thing. Oh, you're just changing it up on me, eh? Oh, one thing doesn't work, then you just uh, you just send old Bo something different, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, it's because you're not fishing. You're not fishing in the morning. That's what you need to be fishing. Uh, you're not holding your tongue on the left side of your mouth. You uh, you have to hold your tongue on the left side of your mouth, otherwise they don't bite. Excuses, excuses. Christmas does, very true. Blake 2009, hi. You have to get them with the shad. Well, I'd probably throw out a shad then. Just hope that you catch one. Use a uh, use an eight dot hook or something maybe. Yeah, Yasin. I. I love how I said I would switch to the walker and then I continued to fish the golem lord. When are you going to be on Call of the Wild? We were already on Call of the Wild, Legend. You crazy guy. The stream started at 7.30. Where were you? Oh, bro. Come on. Are you serious? I couldn't raise my, my mouse, I couldn't move my mouse any further, so I just right clicked at that point. He was pretty much hooked.
I move my glass here. So I can move my mouse more. About had him though. Walker was a favorite lure. I'm just like, my goodness. <clears throat> Very true, Emily. That was pretty funny. fish that's all I want that's all I want I just want one fish and not giving me more than one walking. I'm so confused. Everything I try does not improve my walking. I've tried slower. I've tried faster. Nothing is improving it. Christmas is your favorite holiday. It's one of my favorites too. Supposed to close one eye, stick your tongue out, left, and hold one foot up. Exactly. <laughs> Duh. It's 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 practically like if you're fishing and you're not fishing like that, then what are you even doing? God, that thing showed up in front of my face, and I thought it was some sort of fish. You reel it in too fast if you do that. Before you know it, it's back to the boat. You just keep holding it like that. Anywho, all right. Well, everyone, it's not working. It's now. It's just not working out for us. We about had one fish go for it, and other than that, nothing. Nothing really went for it. When will you do another Red Dead November and Red Dead December? Uh, I'm not really sure because uh, we're only seven days away from uh, Farming Simulator coming out, and then I'm just gonna be doing that. So, just twitching, but raising the rod rather. I don't. Raising the rod. But that's what walking is. You're just doing a little twitch to... Why would you raise the rod? It's not working. Thanks for the tips, though. Thanks for trying. All right, well, anyway, that's, that's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it like this. Take care, everyone. Hopefully this was fun. Good little start to the week on a good Monday. We'll move, we'll move on. 
Don't even hit me with the bigger pauses. I already tried it, rookie. Good, good try. That's why you're a rookie, obviously. <laughs> I tried it. I tried everything. I tried long pauses. I tried short pauses. I tried twitching. I tried holding it one way. I tried putting my tongue out and sticking one, one eye shut. Whatever. I don't care. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Take care, everyone. Hit the like button if you thought it was fun. Otherwise, don't worry about it. See you on Wednesday. Bye. We're one planet, one family. Game on.